Good day, dear viewers. Andy here for What Culture Wrestling, aka the Meek to Adam Cleary's Korg. And the past few weeks have certainly been eventful. We'd hardly had a chance to calm down from the excitement of WrestleMania 34 when WWE thrust another superstar shakeup upon us. And after a total of 36 roster changes across two nights, it's now in the books. Now the promise of shiny new things is always exciting, particularly in wrestling, and we have every reason to feel enthusiastic about the futures of both Raw and SmackDown. But which brand won the superstar shakeup? This is always the burning question whenever a draft happens, so let's take a look at it. We're going to run through a bunch of different categories and then determine the winner at the end. And we'll start with the women's division. Now the Riot Squad and Absolution switching brands is effectively a straight swap, as while the Riot Squad obviously have one more member, they essentially work the same act. And the other notable trade was Asuka going to SmackDown, and of course Natalia going to Raw. Now this is a huge upgrade for SmackDown, as while Natty is a solid veteran hand and she'll do good work with Ronda Rousey on Raw, Asuka is a cut above. The only slight concern is that she'll have to play second fiddle to Charlotte Flair for a while, but let's not nitpick. SmackDown's women's division has closed the gap on Raw here. You could argue that the Monday Night group is a little more balanced and perhaps even a little bit more talented overall, but for closing the gap and making the improvement, we've got to give this one to SmackDown. So on to our next category then, the men's single division, which is both the hardest to call and the closest. So let's dive into it. <laughs> SmackDown shed a lot of dead weight on Monday and Tuesday, and they've also gained guys like Miz, Almas, Samoa Joe, and Jeff Hardy. That's a big step forward, but among that group are our truth and Big Cass as well, who I'm willing to bet you aren't so excited about. Raw, meanwhile, added a great hand in Bobby Roode, a hot prospect in Chad Gable, and Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, who kind of ran their course on SmackDown, but are doing a great job as heels. That's a lot of positives and negatives, but here's the deciding factor. SmackDown's group is extremely top-heavy. Sure, it looks exciting at the moment, but there's no mid-carders to support this awesome group, and that's going to become a problem later down the line. For that, we give this one to Raw, making it 1-1. And now, the tag teams. Now, The Bar and Sanity are fantastic additions for SmackDown. They'd ran their courses on their old brands, but now they can look forward to fresh, exciting matches with The Usos, The Bludgeon Brothers, The New Day, and many more. It's a fantastic division they've put together, and I can't wait to see what comes of it. On the other side, Raw have added The Ascension and Breezango, who haven't exactly been pushed to the same level as those aforementioned teams. Now, they could have Drew McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler, as well as Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens enter the division, but that's speculative at the moment. I think the blue brand takes it here. When you throw Gallows and Anderson into the mix, that's a fantastic group of varied teams. The Raw division, meanwhile, has great groups like The Revival, but there's a lot of lesser, lower mid-card talent in there, and that's not too exciting. Our fourth category, then, is Star Power. Some big names were traded this week, but there were no true headliners on the move. Reigns, Styles, Strowman, they all stayed put, and so did the likes of Seth Rollins and Finn Balor. Still, guys like Miz, Hardy, Joe, and of course the mighty Asuka are tremendous additions for SmackDown, but I think Raw takes it here. It could be argued that Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are the two biggest names to be involved in the shakeup full stop, and they went to Raw. Bobby Roode, meanwhile, isn't exactly far behind himself. It's a very, very small margin, but with Raw taking that, we're at 2-2. And finally, match quality. So we arrive here, our deciding factor. Which brand left the superstar shakeup in the best possible position to put on great matches on a weekly basis? Raw has added objectively great wrestlers in Zayn, Owens and Bobby Roode, but if you look at the SmackDown side, it's very, very lopsided. We've got Asuka, Jeff Hardy, The Bar, Andrade Almas, and the list goes on. Now, there are plenty of solid workers like Ziggler, McIntyre, and Natalia in the mix here too, but let's be honest, people like The Ascension and Jinder Mahal aren't all of a sudden going to start having great matches just because they've moved home, and they're on Raw now. Match quality is entirely subjective, of course, but from our point of view, SmackDown clearly wins this category, and therefore won the Superstar Shake-Up. So that's my take on it, but what do you guys think? Do you think SmackDown won the Shake-Up, or are you happier with the moves that Raw made? Let us know in the clicky boxy thingy below. But that's all for today, folks. I've been Andy for What Culture Wrestling. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.
Wow, wasn't that great, guys? I don't know. It's your decision. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed it down here. Check out more of our content over here or check out some of our other channels over here. Oh, you better click it. Click it before I do. No, seriously, you should click it, though. Thank you.